So they were getting ready to do their final uh, recording session, and he called me the day before and said, uh, my name's Sid Sharp, and I'm calling because I'm contracting for this young guy named Frank Zappa, and I have a very unusual situation to ask. Um, he said, we just did a recording session last night uh, with this orchestra, and the pianist who was on the day walked off the session and said the music was unplayable, and I have the responsibility of finding somebody to show up tomorrow night, and you've been recommended, and he mentioned a couple of really well-known pianists who thought I was up to the task. He said, how would you feel about walking into a situation like that? And I said, well, the first thing I did was I said, let me think about it for 30 seconds, you know. And all I could think of was, is I want any opportunity I can get. I'm trying to create a career, and you know. And then I thought, well, if I show up and I can't play it, I'm merely, you know, um, backing up what the guy said last night. So I can't be that bad, you know. But if I can play it, then it's good. So I said, sounds like fun. I said. <laughs> So I went and I did the gig, and the music was really fun and interesting, and the piano parts were not real hard, but they were very um, diverse in terms of what I'd be asked to do. Like there was a band leader named Jan Garber who had a style in the 30s and 40s, and it said, play like Jan Garber, and there was stuff like this. It's written out. It's a little kind of... Um, pentatonic little arpeggiated ideas and then you turn the page and it would say Motown 4 strut and it would be like this okay it's not it's not the revolutionary etude by Chopin you know <laughs> so um, so I got through that okay and Frank remembered me and I did work with him on a few other occasions